This Vinny Vid production brought to you by Yankee Dabbler. For all your model railroad needs, check out Yankee Dabbler. Don't forget, 7% discount with BNSF 6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome street graphics for your roads and streets on your model railroad layout. If you guys are looking for sophisticated model railroad electronics, Logic Rail Technology has what you need. For a 5% discount on certain items, use code BNSF6951. Alright guys, what I'm going to do here now is uh, I am going to start spacing out these uh, corbels that John D uh, Tanzillo made for me. I don't know if you guys can see them. Uh, let's see, put them up here a little bit. Let me move the camera down a bit. There you go. Anyhow, um, I cut these little spaces out. They're eight scale feet, and I am going to put this piece of masking tape in there. <clears throat> and this way I'll be able to see what the spacing looks like before I actually glue them down. So, we'll start here on the corner, and we'll start working across that away. So the first one we'll do is this corner piece. And we'll just go ahead. Now I put this temporary roof on here just to, so I can push this up against there to get a good fit against it when the when the actual roof is on there. So we're gonna go ahead and take this guy and we're gonna stick him up in there, right on the end of the building, just like that. And then we'll take a spacer. Now the spacers will also hold these guys straight, so I can get a good idea of what this is gonna look like. So I'll stick a spacer in there. And we'll go right up against the corbel, like that, and then we'll stick the next corbel. Sorry about that phone call, fellas. Anyhow, we'll just continue along here, and we'll get an idea of how this is all going to play out. Put him close up to that one, and then we'll take another spacer and put him in there. Push him up tight, and then we'll get another one of these guys. And these all have to be cleaned up yet before I actually glue them in there. And I was thinking to put about 10 of these, but actually I think it's going to work out to be about 12. These spaces are 8 scale feet. I think I mentioned that already. And also, try and keep it straight. All right, and so on. We're going to keep going like this all the way down to the end, and we'll see how many of these we're going to put on there and see what it looks like and all that kind of good stuff. Anyhow, I will continue this off camera, and I'll bring it back when it is done. Be back in a little bit. Bye for now. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got all the corbels on there. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, even dozen. That's going to go on here at 8 foot intervals. Anyhow, now that I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off. I'm actually going to start gluing these guys down. Uh, they have to be on here before I actually start painting the building. The other side would be a little different because the other side will have the ticket window. Uh, which John is going to redo for me because uh, I tried to make it look like the uh, pattern that I have uh, on the uh, uh, novelty siding, but it wasn't working out very well. So I called John up and asked him if he could do that, and he said he would. So, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And of course, <clears throat> the roof will go past the corbels by quite a bit. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to measure that. I think it was 60 millimeters from the center of the peak. Anyhow, uh, let me go ahead and get this done, and we'll see how it looks. So stay tuned, and we'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, now that I was happy with the way um, <clears throat> these all lined up, and I can get exactly 12 of these uh, corbels across this front, the front of this building, or the back of the building as this is, the front of the building is going to be a little bit different because there'll be a ticket window that's going to go in there. Uh, anyhow, uh, what I got here is a just a straight edge to hold it from falling out that way and then I have this guy here that I will do a vertical and then a horizontal or vice versa anyhow I'll go ahead and put a little glue on this guy and let's see how this is all going to work out and as I go along I'll be adding my little spacers that I showed you guys earlier and get them back up here so you can see them these guys you still can't see it son of a gun Back out. There you go. All these guys right here. All right. So 
like I always do. I prime my glue. All right. And we'll put a little bit on here. And now with my tweezers, I will put it in place, trying to be as neat and as careful as I could. Right up against there, let it go. Rest up there, baby. Come on. Now John says the glue I'm using will work with his 3D prints. So that's what I'm doing here. All right. And now we'll do him this way. Make sure he's straight this way. And then we'll do him this way. So now when I take one of my spaces and put it in there, it should hold it uh, square. I think it's going to take a longer, longer time to cure. I hope John was right about this glue. Come on. Now these spaces I'm not gluing in there, I'm just putting them in there just to, just to space it out. And it should keep it pretty plumb, if that's the word you want to use. And I'm going to let that dry up before I go any further, just to make sure that this glue is going to work. There's absolutely no paint on this, on this plastic right now, so it should work. And I did glue these parts on here, and they seem to, oh, I didn't glue this all the way down. But all of these are, um, and it seems to work out. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how this works out. So with that being said, we will be back in a little bit. All right, guys. <clears throat> I glued this first piece in here, and I'm not really happy with how loose it seems to be. Uh, of course, it's only been an hour since I put the glue in there, but you can see how much that's moving right now. So what I'm going to do, instead of using these number 175 uh, as blocks to space it out, and I said I wasn't going to glue these down, I think to give these a little bit of extra strength, I'm going to use these number 144s, and I'm actually going to glue it to the building in between each one of the corbels. And that, you can see it's a little bit smaller. And it's number 144, and it is 40 thousandths by 80 thousandths. And I think it'll disappear once it's in there. Uh, you're not going to be able to see under the roof anyhow, but I'm just doing this as a precautionary me uh, measure just to make sure that these corbels uh, stay f straight up and down and stay on the building. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put some glue up here. And a little bit on the corbel. And we're going to take one of these guys, flat side, the flattest side is going to go down, and we're going to push it all the way up to the roof line, and that way that should stabilize that uh, rocking back and forth, hopefully. Uh, I'm not an engineer, so I really don't know, but anyhow, we're going to do that all the way across the entire board, and each one of the corbels I put up now, I will be using my square to make sure that they're... Uh, plum or square, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so, that being said, give me a couple of minutes to get a little bit more set up and we'll get going.
All right, guys, as you can see, I'm putting those smaller pieces of styrene up at the top, but I'm using the ones I already cut to keep it square on the bottom. Uh, and I'm trying to clean these up as we go along. Just make sure they're smooth and they get a good bite on uh, the surface that they're gonna adhere to. All right, and we'll go ahead and put some glue on this guy. And a little bit on the inside. <clears throat> now these, the roof will not get glued down to these guys. This is just uh, for the show. All right. <clears throat> and put one of these at the bottom. Make sure they stay square to each other. This is going to be a tedious process, so I'll just bring you guys back when I am done, or I might just time lapse it uh, without audio.
right, guys, I know uh, uh, that took a long time to put all of these corbels on here, but as you can see, they are all done, all the way around. And on this side here, all done. And I left the space right here because I am going to be putting a ticket window there. Now, speaking of the ticket window, John Tanzillo did this one for me, and I tried to emulate the siding that's on the building and unfortunately it was not working out very well as you can see you don't see any of the detail of the actual building so I called John up and asked him if he could do it with the detail he said we'll send him a piece of the, of the uh, stuff and he will go ahead and try so about a week and a half later he sends me a picture and the picture was of this guy I don't know if you guys can see how cool that looks but the detail is all there. It's exact, exact as the walls on here, as the material I use for here. So John Tangelo, thumbs up on that, buddy. Anyhow, we're going to start putting some of this stuff together. I told you I also was going to put an office, uh, 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 a little waiting room in here. Uh, and, and I was showed you the way I was going to do it, but I changed my mind the way I'm going to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put this piece in. Uh, I slotted out the uh, supports up there and it'll divide the entire building back here and also it'll give me some support for the roof because the roof is quite long on here. Anyhow, I'm also going to do, um, after I put this guy in place like that, you can see that, I guess I should turn it around so you can see it, um, <clears throat> I'm also going to build the inside uh, part of the office. And as you can see, I've got just enough room. The same spacing as between the uh, corbels is the same spacing between here and the same on the other side. Da 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 da. Uh, anyhow, there'll be one uh, roof like this that will be in here, kind of like that. It's not going to stand up because it's just barely it fits in there really good. I just need to glue it all together. Uh, and then there'll be a shorter wall that's uh, 10, 10 feet tall and 10 feet across so there'll be uh there'll be quite a bit of room in there for an office uh for um, a, t a ticket taker i guess you would call it and then then there'll be half of the front half of the front of the building from here over will be for freight and then the entire back will be for freight anyhow that was a lot said i'm going to pause this video right now and i'm going to prepare everything that i need to prepare and we'll get going. So hang out and we'll be back in a few minutes. Alright guys, so what I'm going to start doing right now is I'm going to start preparing this, this uh, middle wall that's going to go inside of here uh, by framing out where my fictitious office is going to be. Uh, ticket window, ticket booth, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to um, go ahead and line up uh, a couple pieces of styrene just like this on the bottom um, I'm just using a number 144 right now I'm not going too heavy on this uh, and then I will also put one in the vertical uh, on the back side of this uh, but for now I already got the first one down here uh, I also got to cut a window and a door out make it look a little bit more realistic and like I said there'll be like a little waiting room here and that waiting room will be uh, I think, let me, let me measure this just to be sure, I don't want to say something that's not right, but the waiting room will be like 17 feet by 25 feet, so, or 35 feet, sorry, so it's like 15 by 35 uh, area for uh, uh, a waiting room, so <laughs> I think that's pretty cool, you know. I got a couple of benches I'll put in there and we'll see how it's all going to come together. Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm mean, going to put a uh, strip of styrene, the same styrene that I'm using here. I'm going to put down the back side of here so it gives me more gluing, more gluing area when I put it onto the building. Uh, and we'll continue on from there. So this will be the first thing I'm going to do tonight. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and lay a piece in there and then trim it down after it's on there. So this is just like a rough, rough deal. Just cut it like that. I know sometimes it seems like I'm wasting a lot of plastic, but you know what? It saves a lot of time too. So that's basically why I do that. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and glue this down. And like I said, I know it's gonna be way oversized, but I don't care right now. <laughs> 
I'm, I know Matt is not saying anything, but I'm sure he's like totally just trying to figure out when this build is going to be done for him. Yeah. So that's this was number one on my priority list. I got two other bills also that are waiting. So you'll get to see a few videos coming from me here shortly. I also have a mail call coming up here soon, uh, waiting for a couple of packages to come in. And uh, we'll do that in the video also. I'm just trying to make sure that it's pretty flat along here. And I will take something that's flat, like my uh, ruler, and I'll just go ahead and put it down there and just make sure that he's flat. And all of a sudden, I, I'm thinking I'm getting allergies. I never had allergies in my life. Now all of a sudden, it feels like I'm getting allergies. Right, I'm gonna let that set up for a little bit. And meanwhile, we'll go ahead and move over to this guy, which is the uh, horizontal wall, if you want to call it. Another, another, actually, another roof support is what it actually is going to be. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put his support on the bottom ledge right here. And I already have it spaced out right here at the end so it fits around the one that's on there already. And again, we're going to put on my ruler and push down on both pieces. Make sure it's flush, which it is. <laughs> Got glue on my ruler. Not good, Vincent. All right, so now that those two pieces are together, I suppose I could put a, a vertical on there. I don't know how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to glue this in place. If, if I'm going to glue it in place, I don't know. You're saying, what do you mean you don't know? Well, I don't. <laughs> of course, this is all afterthought. <laughs> we'll get it figured out. You'll see. I promise we'll get it figured out. All right, I'm going to put one more piece right here. And again, I'm going to leave room because the roof is going to drop in there also. I'll have the roof drop in, you know, let's see, I think I made this 12, 12 feet high. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh, let's see, we made this to be 12 feet high. So if we drop the roof down to 10 feet, we'd be okay. Right, so the roof is going to drop down to 10 feet. So what I'm doing guys is I am actually recessing the roof a bit, even though this is an inside deal, uh, inside the building, I'm still going to recess it, just because, uh, let's see, I'm eyeballing this guys, so that line right there would be the top of the roof support that I'm going to put in there. And that'll go around all three walls. So, while we have this out, what I'm going to do is put this right next to this. Right there. And I'm going to mark that right there. And take it around this side. Shut up. <laughs> Be sure that we're line for line. And we'll go ahead and mark him right there. And now we have the roof line for the opposite wall. And then when I'm ready to put the roof in, I will put the back. I might might not even need a back a back support. But let's just call it good right there. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is the part that I hate the most, and that's cutting out the windows and doors. They're already measured, and hopefully I measured them correctly. Uh, I will take a window right now and just put it over it and make sure. And that looks okay. And then I will take a door and do the same. And that looks like we have to cut it on the inside of the lines. We can always make it bigger, but we can't make it smaller. 
All right, so I won't bore you with me cutting these out. I will just go ahead and cut them out and I'll bring them back when they cut out and maybe even when this little substructure is gonna be done. So we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, so now I have prepared a few other things to get ready to start assembling this. I'm doing this inside wall, uh, and I hope I can get this straight. Anyhow, as you can see, I've already got the window and door cut in. Uh, and I also have, on both of these, uh, I do have the uh, uh, supports that's going to be used to hold this in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I can go ahead and put this wall onto the back wall. Uh, but this one I cannot until I actually uh, paint the door and window uh, and paint the wall. I, I don't know exactly what color I'm going to be painting this. But to help me do this part, I'm going to use one of my one, two, three blocks. And it'll hold it square because I already checked the square on, on the wall itself. And it is square. Uh, you can see if I put it up here against that line and against that line. And it is square. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this wall on here. I already sanded down the edges and uh, so on, like I tell you guys all the time to do. Uh, and then, to make sure it was square, I'm use this guy just to put him up here and just see if we are. And we are 100% square. All right. So, we'll take some of our glue, my Model Masters glue like I always use, and we'll go ahead and put some on here. And I'm doing it this way because this, like I said earlier, this was like an afterthought to actually put this little feature in here <laughs> from that. I thought it'd be pretty cool. So anyhow, we're going to have to line up the bottom. We have a line drawn here of where we want to go. Plus I have a, uh, a piece down on the bottom that this is going to sit on top of. And let's see, we'll get him in there and we'll put him up to there. Push him over there. And let's see if we are straight this way. And we are. So. All right, we're gonna let that dry up for a few minutes. <clears throat> I should get my other one, two, three block and put it on the other side just to hold it, hold it straight in there. All right, let me go get my other one, two, three block and I will be back here shortly. All right, guys, uh, now I have added my extra uh, gluing surfaces back here, and I'm just going to give it a little sanding down. This is a uh, 100 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's nice and even, so when we put it up on the building, it will uh, have a nice clean uh, joint. And as you can see, that is really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but it's really nice right there all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the building so we'll move the building here we'll move this out of the way for now and we'll move this guy back to here and i'm just going to go ahead and put this on just like that and i just need to use a clamp to hold it tight against the building for now but this is going to look really good. I'm going to be so happy when this build is done, and I think Matt's going to love it. So anyhow, we'll go ahead and add some glue on here. <clears throat> All right. And we'll place it in the spot where it needs to go. And we'll just get a clamp on there. All right, and this is just a regular clampity clamp. I'll just stick him on there, like that. And uh, we'll let that dry up, and then we'll see how this inside wall is going to look when I put it in there and see if everything that I am doing is actually going to work out. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll be back here in a few minutes. All right, guys, and we're back. So now, let me show you some of the progress I've made on this project so far. Uh, to keep all of these corbels straight, I uh, put this stringer across here and kept them as straight as possible. And then, 
what I did was I actually took it a step further and I put a fascia on there, right here. It's not on there permanent yet. I just want to see how it was going to work out. And then the roof will sit right over that fascia and everything will be very, very nice looking. Now, <coughs> the office, because I built this little wall thingy that's going to go inside of here, uh, I figured out that the actual waiting room <laughs> hey how come you're not sitting down oh I know why because I got this extra piece right here that doesn't belong but anyhow um, <clears throat> when it's all in there this uh, waiting area right here is 34 feet by 16 feet so that's a pretty big waiting room so I'm able to get like three of these benches in there but I'm going to take this a step further <laughs> and I want to make it look like there's a wooden a wood plank floor in here. So I'm going to take this number 102. If you guys can see that, <coughs> and I'm going to cut it down to the length of this. <coughs> and I am going to start installing these pieces. As you can see right here, I have a lot of them cut up already. And I'm going to try and make this look like a wooden plank floor. <laughs> so I am going to use uh, full strength uh, white glue because if I don't like the way it looks, I can always take it up and wet it and the glue will come right up. So, with that being said, uh, I got this little block right here to keep me straight along here. That's gonna be, uh, that's where this wall will rest once I get that piece out of there. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> so, with all of that being said, there's a couple other things I'm gonna do to this foundation. I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna put some um, uh, expansion joints and so on and so forth in there. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and place these in here and at the same time I'm going to kind of stagger them a little bit. Um, after watching those guys do my floor, <laughs> I think I could probably do that with this little build that I'm doing right here. So, with all that being said, let me get ready to do this and uh, we'll see how this is going to work out now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put just about half of this with glue so it doesn't dry out, maybe even less than that. And it's gonna pour a little bit out. And then I got this brush I'm gonna to use to kind of brush it out a little bit. And once that is like that, we can start taking these guys and place them. Now these are uh, a scale six inches, so I'm pretty sure if there's wood planks out there that, that are six inches and we'll put him right on that line right there. And I did make them longer and I will trim them down afterwards. And I think I need to put just a bit more glue. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. All right. So, I won't be talking through this. But you guys will get the idea of what I am doing here.
All right, guys, so now I have finished putting all of those pieces of uh, styrene in there. I don't know if you guys are actually gonna see it, but there, you can actually see the planks in there, and I did cut them randomly, so it looks like they were laid on there. Uh, but um, I'll see how it's gonna look. I mean, it took a little bit of time, but it was fun to do. Anyhow, I did, uh, I did groove out my uh, expansion joints with my X-Acto knife like I show you guys all the time with the back side of it. Um, my interior wall is ready for uh, primer, and as you can see, I got the building ready for primer. Now, yes, the primer is going to go inside and out, but I'm going to have to tape this off later on because the inside is getting a different color. Uh, and also, um, the uh, floor in here is going to be a different color. So, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take this outside because it's really nice outside, and I'm going to hit this up with some, uh, uh, what is it? I think it's, um, uh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, you know, the stuff that we always use. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get you the name here in a little bit. Anyhow, stay tuned, and we'll be back in a little bit.